We're in Windows Server 2016 in Active Directory Users and Computers, and let's discuss how to create a new administrator in our domain. So we're in the Users folder that you see on the left-hand side, and we're going to right-click either on the Users folder or we can just go to the right side of the screen and choose New and then User. So now we have the new user and it's going to be an admin. So let's just go ahead and put in my name here and we'll put in the word admin right after it. And then we'll do our admin for the username. Let's go ahead and click next and we'll put in our password. And then we're going to change this from user must change password to password never expires. And the reason you want to have password never expires is because if we tie a program or a service to our administrator user, then we can't change that password or that program or service may no longer work. On a standard user, we, we would want to have that password change, whatever the group policy says, whether it's 30, 60, 90 days or whatever the company decides. Let's go ahead and click next and finish. So there's our user and you can see if we expand it has the full name. Let's double click on that user and let's choose member of. So right now this is just a standard user. There's nothing special about it even though it has the name admin after it. It doesn't actually have any admin rights. Let's go ahead and click add and we'll type in administrators. Check name, click OK and apply. Now this account has administrator rights, which means that I can log directly onto a domain controller server using this username and password that I just added. It doesn't necessarily have all the same rights that the built-in administrator has. Let's take a look at that. Let's go ahead and double click on the built-in administrator, choose member of, and you can see there's lots of other groups that the built-in administrator also is a member of. Now, by having certain rights such as enterprise admins and domain admins, there are certain group policies that are tied to the rights of those particular groups that give you even more rights than just the administrator's group. So let's say I wanted to create a duplicate of this particular administrator. So I don't want to have to go in and find all those groups and add them to the members tab. What you can do is you can take the administrator or any user that you want to duplicate, right click and choose copy. Let's go ahead and create a second administrator. And we'll call it full administrator. And we'll just give it a login name. We'll call it full. And we'll choose next. Let's do the same passwords once again. And we'll say password never expires and finish. Now let's double click on the full administrator member of and you can see the full administrator has all the same rights as the built-in administrator that comes with Active Directory. So that's how we create a new administrator and a new administrator that's a copy of our existing administrator in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory.